Hello everyone. Excuse my bloodshot eyes. I have to put drops in them many times a day and they're kind of Bernie drops. And uh, some of you know I'm going to have eye surgery in both eyes several months apart, but I have to use these drops like 12 to 18 times a day. So I end up with puffy eyelids and puffy eyes. So excuse that. Anyway, Today I'm going to concentrate on showing you the block in on the painting. Yes, I'll show you the finished painting, but basically I'm not only going to show you how I grab a concept at the park quickly, sloppy, scratch it in, but also how I very quickly and kind of expressionistically start my painting. Afterward, I will go ahead and put some details in, but I need my concept down. This is how I paint everybody's different. So I'll show you how I get my painting started and then I will show you the completed painting. I think I'm going to try to paint this little scene out here. If I can't get it with the watercolor, I will come back and do it with my oil or my acrylic. I'm thinking right about here. It's, I don't want to go too close to the ditch there. Maybe right about there. That might be it. I know the sun, which is way up there, is going to come down soon and probably halfway blind me. But hopefully if I don't face this way and I face more this way, I might be okay. So we're all set up to paint. Got my water dropped in. My paints, these are just watercolor today. And I'm really better when I use some gouache because I can always put white in when I want to. So trying to plan out exactly where all the white's gonna be can be quite difficult for me. But at any rate, let's give it a stab. So here I'm just basically blocked in. I still have some lights showing, but I wish I had left a little more light in the sky. Anyway, we'll progress. Okay, it's just a quickie here. This was about a half an hour or so, 45 minutes. And that's all I'm gonna do out here. Just give me a general idea of what I'm looking at. You're seeing a little bit of the pink in the sky now. Put just a little bit of that in there. And if I like this, which I think I do, I could come out here and paint a large painting out of it. But for now, it's just a nice little quick, enjoyable time getting familiar with the subject. So I've added a little bit of gouache into this to lighten the sky up just a little, even though it was getting dark. A little bit of light back into the water again. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more blue because the water, even though you can't see it in the photograph, the water went farther back into the grass and grass is growing in this water. So it sort of obscures some of the water in the photo, but I could see the reflection in it with my own eyes. So just so that I remember that, I will put that in this painting as well. So why do I do these little sketches? Well, it's kind of like a thumbnail for me. First, if I never develop the painting, it's just a fun little time I have, a memory. It helps me. I don't know, many of you know that I am a nurse and also I, was, I worked in hairdressing since I was 17 years old. So what always fascinated me about hairdressing was you have so many clients, sometimes you can't even remember their names until you've done them a few times. But as soon as they sat in my chair, I immediately remembered every single aspect of the conversation I had with them as soon as I put my hands in their hair, because I'm a kinesthetic learner. So 
as soon as I paint one of these little sketches, even if I don't put everything in it, I remember that back here where the racquetball courts or the handball courts, I remember what was going on back here. There's a fire station back there. Even if I don't see everything, I know what these little scratches mean over here. And I know that the water continued on up past this area here, even though you don't see it very well in this painting. And I see that all these little guys over here in the grass, they were all in the water too, and I don't have them in there very well, but I remember all of that. So if I go to paint a big painting of this, I will remember all of that. Whereas if I just take a photo, I probably won't. That's why I do a sketch like this. Not because I think it's beautiful or it's something special that everybody has to look at, because I know it's kind of a scratchy, crappy thing, but it works for me. And I'll show you, I think I've done this once before, one or two of my paintings that I did in the field and then when I developed them later and how it helped me to understand what I was looking at. This was done in the field in Tarpon Springs in about an hour and a half. Here's the developed painting I did at home. This was done at Gulfport Marina. And this is the developed painting I did at home with oil. This is a very small gouache painting that I did. And here is the developed oil painting, which is very large. It's like I don't know, 24 by 30. So here's my little painting I did over here in the park, the little scratched in with a little color. It's almost a thumbnail, it's very small, but no, it's about a four by seven inch. Again, I did not do it very carefully, so you can see it's just a concept and that's all. And I'm going to take this concept and I'm going to turn it into an oil painting. And this is basically why I bother to paint these little paintings in the park. Also, I do it because sometimes it's just a documentation of a memory that I have, a, a fun place I went, something that I found intriguing or enjoyable some memory that I wanted to encapsulate. So there it is. And we're going to paint on a small piece of canvas that I will eventually just take these off of it. Since this is an oil painting, I don't have to worry so much about exactly what I have to do. I don't have to worry that, oh my gosh, what happens if I cover up? The white, no, I can't get it back again. That's kind of exhausting for me. I'm an oil painter, I admit it. And yeah, even acrylic, watercolor is very, very difficult for me. Always realize that painting from the side without standing right in front of your colors and right in front of your canvas is very difficult. So excuse my crazy way of holding my brush and stretching my arm. What I do love about watercolor is you can get little details in if you want to. And also it's very portable. So it's nice to take out and do quick sketches with it. And that's what I mostly use it for. What a pain that paper is. I guess I should say the way I'm doing it, I'm making my own problems. I do okay. love free canvas yeah. because I can stack them on top of each other after they dry and 30 of them take the space of one already stretched canvas on a frame.
You can mix your red with your green and darken it, or you can put your red down first and put your green over it. Just play. Play like a child here. That's all you're doing. You can wipe off your paint. You can let it dry and go over it. You can do whatever you want. No one is watching. Have some fun. This is an area right in front of the park where the horses walk by. It's kind of a drainage ditch, which I seem to paint an awful lot of, but when the water collects in here, it looks like a little lake. It's a beautiful little area. There's also a patch of cypress trees on the right-hand side of this, but I'm not painting those today. Later I'm going to finish this off with a palette knife because today I want a really chunky expressionistic look in this painting. So luckily I have a little bit more room to show a little bit more of the scene here on the left and the right side of the tree. So you'll have a little more reflections in the water, a few more trees back there. And I will go back in and put sky holes in the tree and lights and darks. Now I'll take a good look at this, decide what I like. If there's something I don't like, I can change it before I start putting in any detail. And this took a whole 10 minutes, 15 minutes to get my basic block in done. Okay guys, there's the scratched in version from the park. This is my take on the kind of an expressionistic version with oil. I had fun doing this. I hope you all enjoyed coming along. And I'll see you again next time. And remember, you can paint too. You just have to enjoy yourself. <laughs>